I'm working on a theme song. Chill. Hey guys, I want to continue my series on the death of the movies. Part 2, Movie Stars. We've got these actors and actresses, okay? Now there's a city out in Los Angeles where it's brimming with talent that goes undiscovered. But these guys, they're the cream of the crop, right? They're the best of the best. They get to charge a lot of money to appear in movies. The inflation of the budget has gone absolutely nuts. They're taking 20 million and 20% off the back end. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy contracts, and no, I didn't look any of this up. I mean, they're, come on, they take even more than that. There's guys out there who could get like 30 million, I, I think even 70 million for a picture. And that may depend on the performance. I'm not so much against some performance based salaries uh like you know you get a little bit of a, a bonus for doing right, right but i mean there's so many movies that are like flopping and these stars are getting serious money for it it's really getting on my nerves and uh, another thing about this is people are so effing dumb in this country they'll only see a movie because they recognize the face Take Katherine Heigl, for example. She's doing everything she can to make a buck, and it is bringing the women's movement back 40 steps. You make these stupid rom-coms, and women go see them because they're like, oh, hey, it's Katherine Heigl. I like her. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, she was on Grey's Anatomy, which also sucks. But you know what? It's for me. It's a girl thing. Whatever. That's what ends up happening. You go and you make these people big stars, they don't have to try very hard, and they get to keep making money. That's the age of social media right now. You get big, you stay on Twitter, you retain your following, there's really nothing bad that can happen to you, you just keep making cash. It marginalizes the content to extremes. And these movie stars even go and dip their hands into other people's projects. They end up doing voiceover work. We don't need to have a Pixar film loaded with famous stars doing voices. I like the Disney movies just fine when, I mean, come on, is there a star in The Little Mermaid? Were there stars? Not, there were, weren't many, okay? They weren't in the lead roles of Beauty and the Beast. Now you have to have the big movie star. You have to have Katherine Heigl do a voice in your cartoon. Your Oh, I'm sorry, we don't do cartoons anymore. We do computer animated films, another topic, you have to have her do the voice so that she can go on Jay Leno and talk about the movie. That's what it's all come down to. These movie stars are taking jobs from voiceover talent and no one except me seems to notice and of course the people who no longer get a paycheck.